Hey guys, welcome. <laughs> this is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, welcome. Happy to have you join us. That little monster running around wreaking havoc is named Leo, even though he's a Gemini. It's the Gemini that's kind of spinning out of control here. Um, yeah, so he will entertain you or distract you, one of the two. Um, I'm going to be pulling here from Healing Waters Oracle, uh, and I'll tell you why in a second. Let's just activate this reading with a message for those of you watching. Do come into the comments, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from, especially if you're brand new to the channel. Um, ooh, I love this. You get she who flows. Ease, being open to change, go with the flow of life. What a great card, she who flows. And this is kind of um, a valid message to get, especially for this lunar cycle that we're in. We open the month of September. By the way, I did do the September uh, Love Tarot monthly energy update where I take the month week by week. If you missed it, definitely go watch that. But then right on the heels of that, I did the new moon in Virgo, which was on September 2nd or 3rd, depending on where you live. And so we sort of kicked off the whole month with a new moon in a sign where, which is partially ruled, ruled by Mercury, but also co-ruled by Chiron, very healing energy, and kicked off this lunar cycle where in two weeks on the 17th, we have the full moon in Pisces, very watery, hence healing waters. And, um, and we go into eclipse season and that will be a partial lunar eclipse south node eclipse and we're looking at with the south node we're looking at the past and so it will be an eclipse is released full moons are released and so we're going to be bringing stuff up from the past that needs to be released so i love that you're getting she who flows going with the flow and letting shit go perfect message for all of us especially those of you watching okay so I chose to do the soul contract tarot spread today, looking at our soul contracts um, for our connection. So it looks very much like the, come on, Laura, you can do this, um, abbreviated or modified Celtic cross spread, but the meanings of the card positions are different. So I'll walk you through it. Here we go for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hmm, Page of Wands, Nature of Your Soul, Karmic Soul Contract, and the Four of Swords. Oh my gosh. Everyone keeps getting some permutation of this um, nature of the Karmic Soul Contract and the main lesson, Four of Swords, something with regard to healing or thinking things through and reflecting and reevaluating and reassessing. So let's see what it is you're already aware of. The star can also be about healing, but also um, the star can talk about hope. Um, and here in your shadow work that's still needed with the Ace of Wands, it may be talking to you about staying in the game, right? Staying motivated and inspired. And there, you may need some shadow work around that. In the past, past healing that you've already accomplished, Five of Swords. Um, interesting, talking about where you have been easily defeated in the past, or maybe there was some um, game playing, uh, zero sum game comes to mind, some sabotage afoot, where you've had some healing around, where someone may have taken advantage of you, or gaslighted you or um, plotted against you in some way, shape, or form, and you found some measure of healing and you accomplished that. So you got the receipts. Um, now, 10 of cups, I love this. The final step um, on this healing journey for you with regard to this soul contract that will signal that you're either ready to cut cords in this per personal contract or 
move up to the next phase of the contract is the Ten of Cups. And that Ten of Cups is sort of emotional fulfillment and completion where it's like, you know, shake it off. It doesn't bother me. It's not impacting my happiness. Yes. So really interesting, Leo. Okay. So I'm going to go back through now and clarify Page of Wands, Four of Swords. So what I feel like I'm looking at here is the nature of your soulmic, soulmic, the nature of your karmic soul contract with the Page of Wands is it likely started with flirtation and it likely started with something that was a little bit more impulsive and you know kind of in it for the minute um getting needs met possibly yeah that page page of wands can kind of be going where things feel good and fun and flirty and it doesn't really often look down the road too far and then your main lesson is now i got to reflect on that and kind of healing from whatever turn of events that might not have gone so well you know sometimes things come back to bite us um, so that's the nature of the soul contract or at least this phase of it that you've been working through so let's go ahead and clarify Hanged man, seven of swords, yet ten of pentacles. I am seeing this as whatever has happened here, whatever this lesson you're learning is, it did come back around to, like you had to sort of stop everything. The hanged man is where you pressed pause, where you said, or somehow everything had to come to a screeching halt because it wasn't really aligned with you. I am seeing the four of swords more as going back in to reflect, to realign to your own soul's purpose. Um, the seven of swords reflecting where this doesn't sit well with me. This isn't who I am. It's not the future I want. It's not the future I envisioned. So whether someone else is that page of swords energy or you went along, page of swords, my bad, I apologize. Page of wands, I'm looking at seven of swords, but I'm thinking page. The page of wands, right? Whether it's someone else that kind of got your attention or whether you went along with something, it feels like you already have healed from something that came back around to kind of bite you. And there's healing involved, sure, but I'm feeling almost like with this hanged man, yes, you stopped everything, but you also kind of have to reevaluate. And so the hanged man is reevaluation from like, you know, the 30,000 foot view and the four of swords is really coming to ground. And because this is impacting the future, it's not the future you wanted. It's part of the soul contract that you are learning a major lesson from this phase of this contract. And the hanged man is that spiritual sense of I'm waiting for some enlightenment before I continue moving forward. That's why it's a temporary standstill. And I feel like the seven of swords, page of wands combo there feels like this doesn't feel right to me. It isn't aligned for me. And so that is the lesson in the nature of the karmic soul contract here. The star, what you're already aware of. Page of Wands lands on the star. Death card. Tower. Yeah, that did not go as planned. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm... Like the star is coming through as your co cosmic guide. Um, sure, it talks about healing too, healing from a very sudden end. Uh, maybe things were very clearly not sustainable for the long haul. Uh, I do feel the ending there, but I also see the growth and change, right? The transformation that was available to you. You're aware, you're aware this wasn't for you. And so the star there isn't just um, your hope and faith. It's more the trust that 
you're going to follow the cosmic guidance, right? The divine guidance. Um, trusting it. And letting what wants to go, go. Wow. Part of that karmic soul contract is the growth that comes from it. Look at you, learning, growing, transforming. <laughs> Ace of Wands says the shadow work still needed. Right. Right, it's hard to be, to kind of, you know, the Aces are gifts from Spirit, and it's like Spirit handing you this Ace of Wands and saying, all right, well, get at it again. And you're kind of like, yeah, I don't think so. You know, that was a lot. <laughs> Spirit's kind of like, no, we got to examine this. The shadow of it is you maybe shut down, closed off your heart chakra, feeling very guarded. Walls are going a mile high. That's the uh, thank you next and no. And it's heavy. It's still bothering. It's still it's still um, encumbering and it's still um, burdensome right weighing you down and not giving you any sense of peace um a sense of having come through it having grown having learned page of swords almost like you know the eyes behind the head i'm looking all around for you know can i trust who can i trust who's being honest so there is some shadow work needed with regard to that ace of wands is that okay i'm ready to go again i'm ready to be out there or i'm ready to reignite the torch of passion with this person because i know who i am and i know what i want and i know what i you know what i don't want what doesn't work for me so it's just a matter of your situation remember this is a general reading so you have to take what parts of it resonate for you and adjust the interpretation accordingly but I feel like the shadow work is this part that feels like it really got, you know, kind of came back at you in, in, in a way that wasn't favorable because that's how karma works, right? What was out of alignment, you learned pretty quickly in an uncomfortable way and therefore you had to readjust and realign. And that's what part of this part of the contract has taught you. So now you don't just stop taking the opportunities that ace of wands when it's handed to you is the divine gift of inspired passion and so what's happening here is you're still shut down you're you're not in the game of life so revisit that that's part of this new moon from the second and third of september to the full moon with the lunar eclipse of the south node on the 17th of september in the sign of pisces we all have some work to do and this is yours okay so <laughs> Past healing, you've already accomplished, so you have the receipts. Yes. Set you on a different path. You look at this. Look at this. Unconscious awareness, five of wands. Conscious awareness, five of swords. I'm in danger here. Two of cups, two of wands. This is not the path for me right? I want this connection, but I have, I have to choose a different path because this is not what I want to be mixed up in some kind of drama with all this sabotage and feeling like, you know, I'm the one getting the crap end of the stick here. So I don't know what this was about for you, but obviously it was not a good deal but you came through it you chose correctly for your soul's purpose for your path you got back into alignment or at least you're in process of getting back into alignment that's part of this contract for you so you have evidence and now in the <laughs> near future um the final step on this healing journey after all that mishigast um you know that will signal you're ready to either cut the cord completely here some of you may have already done so or to kind of take the next step on the soul contract next phase right new lesson 
is the Ten of Cups. Yes. Six of Cups. Woo-hoo-hoo. I love this because it does feel like the shadow work when I said the Ace of Wands is, um, you know, you have to, it, it's a gift from spirit that you have to receive. You have to, you know, it's being handed to you. You have to take it into your hand. And, I, and then I said something about, um, you know, uh, possibly reigniting the torch of passion in this connection after something that has fallen apart or ended. Got it. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, Past Life Soulmate, Seven of Wands, which is some good sense of resistance, right? And I love that we have the Knight of Swords underneath. When I pull from the bottom of the deck, especially if you're new or if you didn't remember, this is coming from um, unconscious awareness, so something within you that you're not really, it's not in something that you're aware of, but it's sort of guiding you internally, okay? Um, or it's playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. Um, unlike conscious awareness, we're, we're aware of it. We're doing it consciously. So I'm feeling like you're gonna resist any overtures from this person unless or until they come in to clear the air. They come in with some truth, with some honesty, with some effort to make sure that either you understand their intentions or they understand what the boundaries are. Four of Pentacles. Right? It's almost like we're going to shift how this whole thing works. Because this is not going to work for you. Right? So we'll have a new nature of the karmic soul contract. And it feels to me like that's how you'll know you have that final step in the healing journey is where you determine. What the, um, oh, what's, what was I just going to say? Right? The terms, the terms of engagement. Right? I don't want to like liken this to a battle, but that's sort of how it feels. Like you step in and say, oh no, no, no. These are the terms of engagement. This is how it's got to be. If we're going to be happy, if we're going to move forward, if we're going to have, you know, this connection is going to exist, if we're going to reignite all the goodness that's between us, this is how it has to be. So, that's what I see for you, Leo. Very exciting, very interesting, very intriguing. I'm kind of uh, wanting more, and uh, more is what we're going to get. I want to go to the extended, but I'm looking at it from your person's point of view, their perception of you, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you. What do they receive from you? What are they getting from you? Um physical fulfillment or chemistry if you're too far apart um, and where's it going that's what we're going to do in the extended there are links below notice i said plural links because there are three ways to access access the extendeds if you want a monthly renewal you get access to up to four um, extendeds uh, if you want the all access pass, you get everything, or if you just want the one time extended. So check that out. And um, before I give you the astrology here, if you have not yet done so, but you've been enjoying my readings, do subscribe below. Help me stay on this platform so I can continue to do the thing I love most to do, which is to bring you these messages, this you know, this me doing a reading and you doing the subscribing is the energetic exchange. So I'm thanking you in advance for that. Okay, Page of Wands came out twice here. That is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. We've got the star, beautiful star is Aquarian energy. The death card is Scorpio. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. 
Uh, Page of Swords is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and the Knight of Swords is Gemini. That is what I have for you. And I love that you get She Who Flows. Easy, being open to change. Go with the flow of life. So yeah, this, this reading feels like it's a little hard to go with the flow. Um, but I love how where you land is where you kind of flip the script of who's creating the terms, who's establishing the terms. And when you're the one who's establishing the terms, it's a whole lot easier to go with the flow. That's just my thought, my two cents. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.